Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I'm your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we'll be reacting to Enin no Shobotai, aka Fire Force, episode 12. So this is the halfway mark of this entire season, and it seems like we're pretty far behind the other animes that started last season. So for example, Dr. Stone, they're on episode 15, and we're only on episode 12 for Fire Force, so we got a long way to go. But anyways, I don't remember too much. I do remember we met Benny Maru last episode, and we found out that Benny Maru is a second and third generation. So that means that he can create fire and manipulate fire, his own and other people's fires. So he's a threat. And he's honestly my favorite character so far, dude. I'm really excited to see what he's capable of. Because I feel like this wasn't even the start of what he's actually capable of in a straight up duel with someone. So I can't wait to find out more about him. And I love his personality. He's just really chill, laid back, and I can't wait to see what this episode has in store for us. So, if you guys are excited for the episode, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on the episode down below, and subscribe for more Slice Shonen content. Make sure to check out the Cloud Crowd Discord, link will be in the description. And also consider supporting my channel through Patreon for as low as $2. But with that all out of the way, let's get right into this episode. All right, so this is the part of the episode where you guys will grab your source videos. If you do not have one, I will have one linked in the description. All you gotta do is click the first link that you see, bring up the video, and get ready to sync it with me because we will be starting episode 12 in... Let me get it ready. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. All right. Oh, wow, my volume was already turned down. I just forgot how loud this opening is. Alright. I'm just excited to hear the opening again, man. Alright, what's up? It looks like we're still in that village, maybe? Yep. Oh, that's so sick! They can make fireworks? Mm hmm. That is true. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh man, I forgot Tamaki's a part of the crew now. Alright. And I believe you guys told me in the comments section that the reason why he destroyed the houses surrounding where the, um, are they called infernals? Where the infernal was, um, he did that so that the fire wouldn't spread. And it looks like we're helping out as well. Oh snap, it's time. Get that plasma ready. Wow, that's actually so useful. Oh man, he's like a nail gun expert. Oh, Maki? Okay, show him how it's done. <laughs> Look at that dude posing in the back. Oh, no. Wait, that was Tamaki? No, no, no way. No way. Wait, what? I'm so confused. I could have swore that was Maki that lifted it. And then... Maki dropped it? Because... I don't know. I don't know what that was, but... Fan service. Nice. And are these the... Um, evangelists? Yep. Answered my question pretty quick. Get 
get the bugs and traps. Oh yeah, the bugs that can make people into infernals. Oh man, I missed this opening, dude. Okay, so I'm starting to remember how everything started again with um uh with Tamaki and uh oh man, what was the guy's name that could like punch with fire? I can't I can't even remember his name. But basically we took care of him and afterwards um I think the guy that can like use ice I believe he said he was going to work with us for a little bit. I don't know if he's joining us, but I believe he wanted to take care of some business with us. And Tomiki also joined our squad, so we got some new crewmates to journey with. Man, I don't know, this, ah, oh, man, hmm, I just might agree that this opening, or not agree, but I'll say that this opening was my favorite of last season, hands down, Vinland Saga was good as well, um, but outside of that, like, this one was so fire. I have it on my playlist. Dang. Where are those wounds? Oh man, I remember these two. Weren't they like some stray savages? Yep. <laughs> this big bozo. Flaming time. Oh man, that's so sick. But aren't you guys children? And what are those burns? Those don't look normal. <laughs> those two are so annoying, dude. Maybe we can become allies. Also, he doesn't even want to be the captain. They just threw the job on him. Or maybe, like, there weren't any other uh, candidates that could do it at the time. Dude, even though they're so mean, they're adorable, man. Oh! What? Tephrosis.
Oh man, they're scared. So if they use their powers too much, or overexert themselves, then it starts to eat away at their body. I really like this sense of community that they have in this village. It's really cool. <laughs> oh, Tamaki, Tamaki. Get my... To silence my phone real quick, just in case. Oh, wait, is Iris there alone? Oh, okay, she's got Hibana with her. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Whenever you see that look on her face. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> her whole division is full of weirdos. Oh. Oh, snap! Oh my gosh! Benny Maru is not happy! But they're being framed! Or are they? What? Oh my gosh! So what happened right there? Okay, so clearly they didn't say that. But... What? Did somebody, like, distort his hearing or something? Ooh, and Shinra's here. Oh, man, whoever did this, they knew exactly what they were trying to do. And they know exactly who they're dealing with. What? If you don't want to fight me, then prove to me by fighting me? Shinmon Betty Mario. See? But. Okay, so clearly there were imposters. But if he was right there and he saw them, how did he get from the imposters to the real ones? That's so weird. Oh, dude, I think second generations are so strong, man. Just because they can manipulate other people's fires. Or at least dispel it, I guess. And he even stopped the bullets. Holy crap.
Dang, man. And he's like 1v5ing them right now. Oh! Dang! Yai yeah, Chop. I don't want to know what happened. Oh my gosh! Like, they didn't even see it coming either! But it is weird that it took so long to actually reach them. Obi? Oh, it's time! <laughs> What have you done to my men? Captain the captain. And he doesn't even have fire powers, does he? Wow, dude, it's time! Obi's about to give him the work! Oh, completely ineffective. He doesn't have powers. Oh, it's straight hand to hand combat. Oh, he scooped him up, dude. Obi is a trooper! Oh snap. The flaming brooms again. Dig! Get your generations out of here, dude! These are the results of hard work. All right, we got the smoke screen. Oh, we split it in half. But we got more where that came from. What is Obi planning, man? Dang. Ooh! He blasted the little eight sign off of his head. But he came in and got a mean headbutt. Dude, what a savage! True! The only person without powers got a shot in against him. Oh, Kantaro. So Kantaro must be the guy that we saved. Oh. Oh, no. This looks nasty. Form 7. Sun wheel. Ooh! Not today! Oh man, his burns. They're only heating up more.
Ooh. Man, props to him for sticking his neck out for us. Well, at least we're not fighting anymore. Hmm. But he's probably still beating himself up over it. Dang, so how long has he had these scars? Artificial infernals. Or maybe all infernals are artificial. Oh, he's at his limit now. But someone's got to keep fighting. Ooh. Dude, that thing looks so scary. Like, imagine if you saw one of those in real life. He's going to have to handle this alone. Oh. And that explains why his shoulders had those burn marks. Because maybe his power is related to that. Are we going to see them fight? Oh, maybe not. Dang. Man. What a great episode, dude. I felt a bit odd at first getting back into this after so long because it's been like a two-week break since we've had our last episode. But regardless, man, I enjoyed it. And also, I remembered the ending credit scene. So let me check and see if there is one. And then um, I'll get right back to you guys. Alright, so it looks like there was no ending scene after all, but this episode had a lot packed into it. So, Benny Maru was pretty much putting like cooling towels and trying to treat these burns that he had. And I wonder if they can ever heal actually. Because he said he's had those, or this all started back before they were formally a part of the 7th Division. So, has he had those scars, those burn marks this whole time? And he's still treating it daily, trying to make sure it doesn't get worse? Man, is there any cure? If he stops treating it, is it just gonna spread through his entire body and kill him? Like, so many questions, man. But anyways, Benny Maru, 
he was walking down the street turned the wrong corner and he found two imposters posed as obi and takehisa is that his name i don't remember exactly but um he saw them and he thought he heard them talking about making that guy that he saved earlier into an infernal and planning to turn everyone else into an infernal so he wasn't having it he immediately charged after them started fighting and he did not want to hear any excuses or anything he knew what he heard and he wanted to fight every single one of them all five of them versus one of him which is pretty impressive if you ask me he was handling them too but then when him and obi were fighting i'd say i don't know i don't know i I'd, uh, I'd say it was like 60 40 maybe like 55 45 because obi he got some hits in out of everybody in the group the one person without powers got hits in and yeah it seemed like benny maru was kind of reading and predicting a lot of his attacks but he still threw in some wild hits that caught him off guard every once in a while so he maybe could have won but i mean then again benny maru was about to use his like special ability that flame wheel and then his friend had to come and stop him if he did that he probably would have taken down obi so who knows but thank goodness he did come in because now everyone's perfectly fine we got to talk to him a bit and explain our side of the story it doesn't seem like he's 100 percent buying it yet but at least um we were in the room with his friend and he told us the past about how he got those burn marks from overexerting himself they were trying they were both trying to protect the village because apparently there were a ton of infernalizations all over the village and so they both exhausted themselves but one more demon came and he didn't want his friend to suffer so he shoved benny maru out of the way and he was like i'll handle this and they fought i'm guessing he came out on top but at the cost of having these burn marks that are slowly eating away at him so what a trooper man what a trooper but anyways i really enjoyed the episode if you guys enjoyed as well make sure to leave a like comment your thoughts on the episode down below and subscribe for more slice shonen content make sure to check out the cloud crowd discord link will be in the description and also consider supporting me and my channel through patreon for as low as two dollars but with that i am going to head out and i'll catch you guys in the next one sorry for the plane <laughs> have a good one